Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on Dire Wolf. Um, I am going to continue with my ticks and trips, tips and tricks. <laughs> I have a little special chest here to show you uh, my power, power uh, suggestions for you. Um, but first, I wanted to do starting tools. Now everybody has problems with starting tools. They go out and they start running around. And uh, uh, everybody has their preference for starting tools. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at pick. And we look at starting tools. So your basic options for starting tools is wood, stone, flint, cactus, bone. And, and that's basically it for, for most mod packs. Now. If you have extra tinkers and you have the other options for like plastic and pink slime and thermiums in with another mod that adds it in, um, lead, silver, those kind of things. Now, you have two options here. One, max durability. Or two, um, you could go for powered. And, and which means that you only really need to be as fast as possible okay so I'm gonna make two different picks for you here one is going to be for the maximum amount of speed that you can get without adding redstone and the other one is going to be for the maximum amount of uh, durability that you can get on a start tool um, first of all I will <coughs> you will want to find a slime island somewhere and uh, make some slime crystals to get some slime tool rods because that's what I'm using here um, there's pink slime, which is a little bit better, uh, but for the most part, I don't even know how to get pink slime. If you do know how to get pink slime, post it in the comments. I believe you got to go to another dimension, which means it's not going to be available for you at the start. Which uh, pink slime, you can just get a lot of dirt or something and pillar up to a, a slime island somewhere. But anyway, we are going to jump in the tool station here. And the first one we're going to make is an electrum tool rod. Now, electrum, the mining speed it is the fastest mining speed that there is, but it also has the lowest durability that I have found on a tool. Okay, so you only have 90. And uh, we put this in here with this and a tool. I'm going to go ahead and put all these in here because we're going to use them. And as you can see, that gives it eh, 135, 150. And it is still iron level, but you see the mining speed is 17. So we're going to go ahead and make this one. And I did use the uh, paper binding, so you do have the extra slot here. So you got four slots you can mess with. Um, if you did find a uh, diamond, you could pop a diamond on here and give it a plus 50, 500 durability. You wouldn't want to really do that because this tool right here is literally really so low. You, you want to just go ahead and put power on it. Make it into a power tool. Okay? And I showed you a little bit how to do that on the last one. Uh, we'll try to get it done again without taking 40 years. Now, our second option here is called a paper, I mean a plastic pick head. As you can see, the durability on the plastic pick head is 1500. Now, how you get a plastic pick head, I'll show you how to make plastic tools here in a second. Um, you do not want to use a plastic binding. I will show you in a minute why not. You definitely want to do not use a plastic binding for any of your tools. Okay? So, you put this in here and we're going to shift flick this out. And as you can see, this pick here, unmodified, gives you 2,250 durability. This is one of the best, highest durability picks you can get at the start of the game. Okay, so you just go out, find you some uh, mine factory reloaded rubber, smelt that to get plastic, then do the two by two area, and it'll give you plastic sheets. And I can show you. Uh, no, we want this one. Come on. Come on. Plastic. It's 
gonna be difficult. Are you gonna be difficult? Oh. You. Dip. R. I'm gonna switch this out. Maybe if we click on it, it'll do better. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. There we go. And to get these. Just smell any kind of rubber. In a smelt in a furnace, smeltery, whatever. Furnace. Any kind of uh, cooking apparatus. <laughs> and it'll give you raw plastic and you put that in a two by two. Now once you get those sheets, you just come to your fart builder here. And I happen to have a axe and a shovel. And you basically oh, don't start this. Did they fix it? Hold up. Oh, it's two. Whew. Okay. <laughs> so each one of these counts as a half of one. Okay. So that's cool. So I'm going to show you this first. This is the plastic tool rod, and as you can see, its modifier is 0 0.1. 0 0.1, which means it takes the effective durability of your pick head or any other tool, the pick, X head, whatever, and it takes that and times it by 0 0.1, which dramatically lowers your durability. So never use the uh, plastic tool rods. But the plastic tool heads, as you can see, Uh, have quite a bit of durability. Now this is not maxed out so you can make you some starter tools if you just wanted like an axe and a shovel that had a crap ton of durability on them. You can you could totally max this out by using some Millennium tool rods. Plastic is really easy to come by so you wouldn't even have to put repair on it. You just keeps plastic sheets around and just repair it like that. You can put you can put uh, um, repair on this if you needed to. There's like four levels of repair on each one of these, or t three levels of repair on each one of these would pretty much make it uh, repair itself whenever you needed it up. So, uh, I would use repair on these plastic tools here, and then I would suggest making this an electric tool, which we are going to do right now. So, jump back in here. one of these is you want to make me use. So put this in here. It is dependent on the mod pack. Some mod packs change this to where it uses a different thing. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be hardened flux capacitor or a regular cell. But some 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 change it. So check your pack. Uh, just check to see which one it, it uses and uh, as you can see this made that into a powered one now you have to watch this you will run out of power uh, really quickly with this one because the mining speed is so high and you can reinforce this with more redstone of course to make it even more and more speed uh, <laughs> 17 is pretty much gonna blow through stone so I wouldn't I wouldn't advise that just Put something else on there. Just make this your like, like smelting pick or something. I don't know. Um, some something good on this one. Okay, so so that gives you two start tools you can get at start with. Now, Electrum is silver and gold in most mod packs. So you just look up e. I always spelled that wrong. Just look it up. Go to the bland. Do that. There we go. And as you can see, it'll tell you here which one to use for it. You get two, two. So it's silver and gold is not not too hard to come by. 
So, starting tools, a couple of good starting tools. My materials are used for starting tools if you have tinkers in your thing. Uh, I believe you do need the extra tinkers in order for this to work. So, also, I wanted to talk to you for a second. Crossbows. Now, you will need for a crossbow, you will need to smell tree. Um, one of the best two crossbows you can hit is the wooden one and the plastic one. As you can see, the plastic one, it's both, both uh, are green, which means they're really, really good. And if you look at the wooden one, uh, draw speed is green. Arrow speed is, is orange. It could, it could be higher. Um, but is it's one of the only crossbows that has good stats on both sides here. Now, like you, as you see, the cactus a little bit better than the wooden one. But the wood one you can get at the beginning. Cactus requires you to go out um, to a desert and find cactus. Um, the stats are basically the same as plastic. Yeah. Plastics is a little bit higher. So wood, cactus, or plastic is my three favorite choices for uh, crossbows. Um, you do need a smeltery because you cannot make bolts without smeltery. So be mindful of that. You do need at least a one by one smeltery in order to make the bolts. Um, also, I note plastic weapons, including crossbows, as you can see at the bottom there, do give a negative one attack damage. So it's going to take one off of you. So as they're good for tools, not so great for weapons. Probably don't want to make many weapons out of this. Even so, um, this plastic crossbow is going to be massively durability. <laughs> okay, so uh, you're going to have less attack on here, but you could totally stack up redstone on these crossbows. As you can see, they have three. You stack up three redstone on these. Um, you're totally going to have like a crap ton of speed. You're going to have like like every second you're going to be able to shoot every other second. Did, trust me, you can get it under one second. I think the best I've ever gotten is like 85.85 seconds. It's like it's like a machine gun. <laughs> it's it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, so so that's that. Crossbow, definitely make one. Try it out. Um, in order to make the bolts, you need to put a tool rod of any kind into a smeltery um, right here, casting table, and then have iron in here. And then you right click, and then it'll pour the iron over the tool rod and make an iron bolt. Uh, you can look up the different bolts and see what their different stats and stuff was. The higher the durability of the bolt, the more bolts you would get when you make it. Okay. You can also, little tip, you can put uh, two levels of uh, repair on your bolt, and it'll regenerate bolts for you, and you won't have to make any more. So you just make two stacks, and then put two levels of repair on them, and then you can always have bolts that will regenerate for you. So. Second part of this one, we need to have a way to recharge this tool. Now, uh, one of the only ways there used to be to recharge RF tools was in thermal expansion. So we go to thermal, and we have to usually make energetic infuser. As you can see, charges items to RF. And you, oh shit, I made grab one. I didn't mean to do that. As you can see. Two silver, reception coil, copper. You have to make a leadstone energy cell and a machine frame to get this, and then you have to charge it. So that takes, and it only charges one at a time, a tool at a time. And it's kind of slow. Um, my basic setup, I want to show you my basic setup for uh, my power generation. Here. 
I make these. These are basic capacitors from Ender IO. And at the start, I just make three of them. They are really simple to make. I am going to go back into recipe mode really, really quick. And we'll jump over to Ender IO. And if you look up the recipe for these capacitors, really easy to make. One block of redstone and four iron. And that gives you one of these. And they stack, as you can see. One has 1,000, but if you put them together, they stack up. So I can get 4,000 in here. This, of course, is the generators from Progressive uh, Automation. Put one of that on there. And uh, it's not. there's no upgrades for it. It's, it's set amount every time. Just upgrade it to the next level for more. As you can see, this one does 80. Put this in here. It's the RF per tick, and it'll start charging this really, really fast. Um, the next... If you don't have progressive automation and you don't want to feel like messing with the mod pack and added it in, um, if it has Ender IO, uh, you're using these. Uh, the Ender IO is the next best one that I can think of at the start, and you can upgrade it to do about the same amount as this one. So uh, I would use the Ender IO generator uh, next to this one. There's a bunch of other generators you can go in here if you have a favorite. Go ahead and use it. Uh, at the start, the survival generator is probably a really good one to use, although they changed the recipe a little bit. So any one of these other generators, there's a bunch of other ways to make power. I mean, really. So just whatever, whatever, whatever you, is your favorite. Go ahead and use it. Now the good thing about these is I always leave the front of these open like this. Now I put my machine, machines on top. That way they have their own supply of power. I never use. I never use power conduits when I have Ender IO in the pack because I can just use these. These are three times better than the uh, the conduits for me. So I just use these, and it keeps extra power for you on hand. You don't have to worry about it. And uh, you can always hook these up to more powerful um, capacitors. So they'll link with the other ones. So if we come to here, switch back to cheat mode real quick, and we go here, enter, and we grab say a five, nope, nope, that's the bad one, get out of there, there's the one we're looking for. I can come on the side here, and then see. These two right here um, should be able to do. Should be able to hook this up. Input, output. We want both. We'll do output for now. As you can see, that fills up that. So you can have like a big, powerful bank. It goes up to. 250 million so you can make one of these and just put it on the side here now um, it's better to just make the upgraded one instead of upgrading it with these right here <coughs> if you look at the recipe you can make it with the actual capacitors but you gotta make two of those <coughs> uh, it's the same amount of materials you just go ahead and make you a new one of these and then you can just replace these as you go out of them. And then you upgrade them if you if if you've replaced all of them. Go ahead and upgrade them if you want. It's up to you. But the best thing about this is I always take some slabs here. Any slab will do. Let's do some slab here. And I put slabs here. And then I'll put my machines up top. So let's get a machine and dry. Let's grab. Uh, Alloy smelter. That sounds good. So I'll put my machines up here, like this, and it, as you can see, it'll start charging that. And once you have your machines covered up here, you can access the front here. Now the reason you want to access the front here is because these three slots here, you can put your RF tools in. 
and it will automatically charge them with RF and it'll charge multiple tools at the same time. You can charge up to four tools. I believe you can charge your armor too. I don't know about that. I don't use the RF armor. I don't use any RF power armor or anything like that usually. So, um, yeah. I just go with the enchanted stuff and be done with it. Um, the Batania armor, basically, only armor you ever need. And uh, you can just get the mana regeneration on it. So we'll go with that another time. But I guess uh, I'll show you off these tools. Um, this will mine at the same speed as an iron pick. So it's just like using an iron pick, only you have the durability of basically a diamond pick. So I can actually show you that, I believe. Diamond. See? Diamond picks 1500. So this actually has more than this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. And um, if we go over to somewhere where there's some stone, let's dig down over there. Get our plastic shovel working here for us. Come on. Here we go. As you can see, super fast. That's about it for now. If you like these tips and you find them useful, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You come check them out, see if you like them. If you like these tips and you think they'll be useful, share them with your friends. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it in your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I will see you guys on the next episode.